Welcome back to Kenneth and Bowling Necklace presentation of the World Tournament in Academy Lane, Tabor, Massachusetts. It's our second match of three today. Price is with Florin, the defending champs from last year, winning all winning six of eight their first match. Are going to be in lane 35, leading off as Evan Riva, R-I-V-A. On the right is Paul Dyer, the new owner of All Play in Belfast, Maine. The Barbarians, their team name. Two points for win, one for tie, two for total. Bob Lee on the score cam. Thank you for watching this great game of Canopin Bowling on Canopin Bowling Network. The ICC, International Canopin Championship, is the official name, better known as the Worlds. Paul Dyer, 110 average, will start off in lane 36 for the Barbarians. High single of 187, high triple of 415. High five, 652. Evan River, also from Maine originally, 117 average. High single 193, high triple 497, high five, 797. Every day this week through Saturday, we'll be on live Kenneth and Bowling Network, 9 a.m., shortly after 12 noon and 3 p.m. through the semifinals. Ali Chad will have the actual finals here from Haver, Massachusetts. And pump 125. Had to be lanes. Paul Dye, good start. Nine. Four pin with good to help. Evan Rye for the triangle right corner. The six, nine, and ten. Dying for a spare. Got it. Ten of the ball to start the match. First of three strings. Out of forty-five percent chance of the triangle. It's the left. All stats provided by Kenneth Bow and Never for Pro Bowl is not wood. Evan? Nine. Early one pin lead plus a bonus ball for Paul Byer. Paul won two money matches with Mark Carrier. For main, main money match, $1,000. Catch us on Kenneth Bowen Network. Off to the right, that's the Caleri. He ended up the Bob Caleri. 15 after one. They're up to six right now. They're way too early, first thing. Driver in the pocket has the parallel pins. 4-7, 5-8 to the right. Paul chops out one as the 1, 4, 7, and 9. His team lost all eight points in the first match. Our second of 11 matches this week. Five, nice ball, won't go. Dyer, tough six. 21 through two. Riva, nice pinning, 10, 19 through 2. Paul and Dyke gives him a slim two pin lead early on. Paul Fry, son of DJ Fry on the left. The price is with flooring. And DJ Fry to his right. DJ, 3 in that one. Will it be like Barbara like Sun String? Let's see. Fry. Goes Fry. Got a break at eight. That's the one and the two. Two pinners without wood convert 51%. DJ on the nose. Three, six, ten, and the seven to the left. Spare for Paul Fry to start. DJ trying to get the short three. Only got one on the object pin. Seven. Cold fry from Bangor, Maine, originally Brewer, Maine. Now he's called Bangor Brewer Lanes. Average of 122. High single 199. High triple 464. DJ, what's the right? The 13610. Fry on the bonus. 2 1 split. The 6 is on the right. The 2 4 on the left. 17 after 1 in the first of 3 from Haverhill, Massachusetts. DJ just missed left. DJ 115 league bowler. High single 161. Fry, I'm all got to try. DJ's high single 161, high triple 408, high five 613. Nine blocks, 16 through two. Nine for four five twenty six through two. 
Early eight pin lead, 45-37. One spare on the board. Actually, no spares on the board now for either side. Each team with one mark so far. Tim Matero, the veteran future Hall of Famer, co host of Ripping the Rack Podcast with Brian Hather and Calvin Locke on lead 35. Here's Kobe Carrier. The Barbarians. Good nine drop past the 10 pin. Single pins convert 72% of the time for four boys. Matero in the pocket. Took the first match off. He has the two and the 10. What the hell? Kobe way off left. Kobe 105 bowler right now. Nice single 164. Matero a spare. Nine. Kobe nine after one 10, 10 plus the ball. Kobe high single 164, high triple 399, high five is 615. Out of 1710, a good day for bowling, Alec. A terrible lead. The 1710 bowling, sir. Mark Carrier, you, you own him. Trying to bounce back here. Spare lead, the 3610. The Matero on the spare is the Clary. 15 after 1. Tim from Rockland, Maine, originally Norway, Maine. Two missed chances for Kobe Carrier. Three pin remains. No! He just shot Matero! Who won? 25 and the ball through two. Talk about retire retirement, Tim. He's always on top of Tom Drake, the captain for Barbarians. And Mike McGinty on the left for Price's Wood. Break. One, three, and the eight. Still wouldn't help. Two pieces. Mike McGinty out of Ports of Bolivarma, Fort New Hampshire. Has the one, three, and the seven. Drake is over with the one and three. So I'm 30 years old from Brewer, Maine. McGinty just missed. Dumb 116 league bowler, high single 186, a 10. High single 186, high triple 448, high five 667. McGinty, gentleman shot for a nine. Flex the muscles there. Mike is 25 years old. Average of 122, high for a season 128. Drake has the check mark. Five to the left, the 3610 to the right. McKinsey sails right, half Worcester. Mike uses 2.6 pound Cobra bowling balls. Drake open with a 10 pin. Half Worcester's only convert 20% of the time. Kelton Bowl Network stats for pro bowlers by Wood. Nice ball there, almost. Shook up the five pin. Wouldn't go. Drake a nine, 19 through two. Just one mark in their first eight boxes. That won't get the job done against Price's Wood. McGinty, 10. 19 through two. Early 89 74 lead. One spare to nine in their favor, also the price is what the betting champs coming in at six and two. Lost their first spring earlier, won the second and third in the total. Here's Lurch, Rich Grassy. One eight chance from West Garden to Maine. 115 average nowadays, career high in its peak, 125. 195 high single, high triple 478, high five. 7.46. Here's Josh Daly at 1.92 in Vancouver Lanes. A week and a half ago, new high single is 1.810. Grassy's open. Daly for spare, missed it. Lurch with a nine. Daly, nine. Means a 15 pin lead. Plenty of time left in this first string. 
Three string format again, two points for a win, one for tie, two for total. Our second of three matches today, all on Canada from Bowling Network. Ashley goes right, makes you matching. Spare chance with the two to left, the five to the right. Josh Daly drills the pocket, Diamond. These go only about 27% of the time. Look real easy. Again, all stats by Canelton Bowling Network. Go home for all things Canelton Bowling. Semi pro to pro. Allie Shelby, exciting finals here Saturday afternoon after 3 p.m. Frank Luca, Brendan Dowd, Al Blue, Corey Lisi, Jordan Britton on hand. Birch, Bear! Just their second spare for the first two boxes. 19 the ball. Daly keeps up a 3 and 6. So each team with one spare piece on the board. Daly, 8, 17 through 2. 106, 93, 13 pin lead for defending champs Price of the Witch Warring. And back to the top of the order, Paul Dyer. Let's we'll switch lanes to lane 35. Evan Ryan from the right. Now in Stone and Mass these days. Engaged the Madison Maddie Kelly. The parents of Bob and Mary Ann Kelly. Crossing over eight with the three of the ten. Tired, what's left is three. Driver for spare, looks good. One carry, almost. Tire goes right. One, two, four, seven. Four horsemen. Evan cleans it up for a ten. Nine, two, ten, twenty nine through three. Dyer and nine. Spare five, six to nine, thirty through three. Evan again average 117 high single, 193 high triple, 497. An amazing high five of 797. And a high 10 of 1407. The main state record is held by Rush Daly Sr. in the Hall of Fame. 1485 Al Johnson owns the overall Canelton record for 10 strings at 1525. 2 2 split, 5 left. Paul Dyer, the parallel pins plus 8. He's up to one in the eight. All part of the Atlantic Canopin single store. Evan Judgman shot there. This is seven box. 36 through four. Paul Dyer nine. 39 through four. Full five and right. Spare seven nine. 26 through two. DJ Trask. 16 through two. On the left. The ball bears and Price's Wood Flooring. Here from Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill, Mass. 125. 725 South Main Street. You must check out the new bar. Brand new, gorgeous looking. Great food, great people. Pub 125, Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. 0 5 3 2 split. Trask is one. Five. Drills that pin. Sniper shot. Bullseye. That's all he got. TJ open with the four and the eight. TJ's high ten. Eleven sixty seven. Five for the nine. Trask with an eight. He's at twenty four through three. Four five thirty five through three. Early on, it's a thirteen pin lead. This first of three strings, second of three matches today on Kennel Pin Bowling Network. I ask all viewers to please subscribe on YouTube to Kennel Pin Bowling Network. It's free. Tell your friends and family, Kennel Pin Bowling Network. Sign up today. It's free on Kennel Pin Bowling Network. We want split. Ball five, the three, six, ten, seven to left. DJ, only three. <coughs> Cry, oh, right behind the seven. Good offer. Pulls high ten is 13.35. DJ almost pulled it off. Both with seven pin leaves. 
Ken McCall. And we give him 45 through 4. DJ joins it for a 9, 33 through 4. 45, 45 through 4. 142, 128, early 14th in lead with Benny Champs, Vice Mayor Flooring. You're on the right. He is Tim Matero. Check out the awesome podcast on mental health too. on the YouTube channel. You can modify all your favorite shows. Look at the Rack Podcast. Matero crossing over eight. After a great start at a scare five, now at scare eight. 33 through two. He has the six to the right, the nine to the left. Use that wood if he wants to. He loves Colby Carey, a 3 1 split. He's got the 3 6 10 and the 7 on the left. Colby Carey 9 is the start. Play the natural shot. Tim decided to play the wood or go at the pins. Fair. Right at the pins. Three in a row. 43 in a ball through three. Kobe's open. Second crack at it. Nice out for nine. 27 through three in the first of three. Tim, 122 average overall. 133 is pretty average for high. He's averaged about 136 different times in league play over the years. He has a high set of 215. He said 210 twice. As he goes 9, 10, strike on Spare! Wow! What a start! 53 through 3, 63 plus 2 through 4. He also has a 204 and a 203 high single, a high triple of 502, also has a 500, and a high five, an amazing 800, and a high 10 of 1459, and overall a 7 1400s plus strings for a five string, for a 10 string, not rather. Colby, a tough six. It's 33 through four. Mike McGinty. And John Drake, on the left, Mike on the right, both 19 through 2. 180, 143, an early 37 pin lead to Bryce's Wood. Yeah. And Matero at the strike, Lurch for Scare. Ginty has the 1 and the 7. Drake crossing over. 7 10 goal post, Wood to try to help. McKinty, field goal. Great, good try. John with a high 10 of 12.41, high 20, 23.94. Which is 2.7 pound long balls. McKinty, an 8, 27 through 3. Great, a 10. 29 through 3, good hitting. No marks yet. He enjoyed his first time bowling in, in Canada, the World Tournament, the World Series, in Halifax, Nova Scotia, 11 years ago. 25 pin lead. In fact, 35 pin lead. Price is wood. Begin to spare chance to 4 and 7. Drake had been hit. Look at this. 7, 8, and 10. He does have three pieces of wood to work with. Mike's high 10, 1366. This is 2.6 pound Cobra bowling balls. And missed a spare chance. Mike bowling for over 20 years. Drake is open with the 8 and 10. McGinty, wide right for 9, 36 through 4. Drake, nice out, pretty shot for a 10. A three tenths and a nine, 39 through four. When you're not marking, that's what you got to do. Pin well. 197, 163, 34 pin lead. For Price's Wood, Josh Daly. 
17 through 2. Merch. Rich Grassy on the left. The Barbarians. On a spare. 19 the ball through 2. Bob Lee with the radar gun you have for Josh Daly. Between 42 and 46 miles an hour. Trying to slow it down. 44 that time. Gets 9. Clean shot that 5 pin. Lurch on the bonus. Just missed the head pin. Got a couple to go. 3 to go. Look at the four horsemen, the 178, 26 through 2. Daly missed it. Single pins go about 72%. For four balls, that one stats by Kenneth Moore Network. Lurch is dead pin. 34 for Lurch. Daly wasn't there. 9, 26 to 3. Nine for Lurch, 26 to 3. Lori Lewis. we got Lori Lewis with us here. Lori, two materials doing really well. Why is that? Oh, it's not now. He's not using my balls oh, now. He's not using bowling balls? No, not now. You, 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 okay, you, last year the invitational is to use your bowling balls, 2.6s. And he threw a 153 in that final. The final's the first the only thing. reason. That's because, it. because of my balls. Yeah. How on Lori Lewis's bowling balls? <laughs> we'll see Lori. At the uh, women's um, camp against the roll-off at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, in December. Lurch, a strike. 45 plus two. Gilly's open. Daly at nine, 35 through four. Back to the top of the order. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, you live on Caleb and Bowl Network, the World Tournament. Push your nose against the International Caleb and Championship. The ICC. Our first day of team competition all the way through Friday afternoon. Three separate broadcasts all the way through Friday. And then Saturday, we'll have quarterfinal and semifinal coverage. Allie Chad with the exciting finals. Paul Dyer in the right from all play in Belfast, Maine. Beautiful eight lane synthetic facility. It was 2014. He gets three. Evan Riva, 36 through four. Punched out the half west to right. Took up the three and nine. Dyer at the center. Diamond. Ball oh, using 2.6 pound prominent bowling balls. Missed it for six. 45 half. Bowls were allowed to substitute up to five boxes. He's taking himself out. Stephen Ashley's going to jump in now. A 16-year-old sensation, Stephen Ashey, pulls the Atlantic Kenilfin single score. It's a 152 and a 162 already. It was nice. He's filling in. Stephen Ashey. Stephen Ashey filling in. Evan River, an 844 through 5. He's getting louder and louder here. Come on down. Check out the best bowls in the world on this split all week here. At Academy Lanes, Haverhill Mass. Driver crossing over it. Seven. Five, nine, to ten. Driver spare. 54 and a ball through six. And Stephen Ashley, Ashley comes Ashley. in and throws a strike. Wow. A great, great uh, strategy, huh, Stephen? Yeah. Filling up a Paul Dyer and throws a bomb. So a combination of Paul Dyer and Stephen Ashley, 55 and a ball, plus two through six. Oh. DJ Press. Strike! Back to back strikes for the Barbarians. Oh, Fry, 3 6 to the right, the 4 to the left. He's at 45, his first 4. Shot up with a spare 7. Oh, I'm going to try! Whoa! What a shot for a spare! The 3 6 to the 4, what a shot! 55 half plus one. I got the money mixed up here again. Get two GJs in there. Steve.
Stephen Ashey, welcome to your first world tournament, a strike on your first ball. Yeah. Say that for the minute. I missed, the, I missed initially in the yeah. lineup changes here on the board. Just happened. Paul, they told me I was going in and went up there. Took a breath, threw my ball, and they all went down. Awesome. Stephen Ashey, watch out for this guy. A-S-H-E-Y, Stephen Ashey out of all play, Belfast, Maine. Three in the fill for full fry, 58 half. TJ, second ball to strike. Seven fill, he's at the 2 4 7. 50 half. Fry open with a 1 4 7. Nice 10. 60 half, uh, 63 6 rather, but DJ Trask. DJ Fry, I should say. They have a DJ Trask in the team also. Cole Fry and 8, 66 through 6. So the father son combination, Cole has the upper hand right now, 66 60. Here's Tim Matero, red hot. Working a strike. Spare five, spare eight. Strike. Colby Carrier trying to get going here. 33 through four, just gets two. You might be coming out. You can substitute through five boxes after five boxes. But if you're in the market in the fifth, you cannot come out. Nice build. Eight. The four wobbling rounds to the left and ten to the right. Working a strike. Kobe slips. He might be coming out of this ball. Usually pull the ball up. They're struggling to give him a break. Nice try. Oh, try. Four marks in a row. The streak is over. Nine the strike. 72 through four. He gets a 10. 82 half for the 51 year older. Kobe at nine. 42 half. They're sticking with him. Tim Matera from Oakland Park Bowling Center in Rockport, Maine. Close right at seven. The one, two, and the eight. Probably the one, three, seven, ten. Miss Black. Matera looking at the mark. Not this time. Object Tim won't carry. Tim Moore for over 45 years, married over 22 years to his wife Angie, and has three kids. Six, the DJ is just, uh, probably, just 42 to five. And if six blocks, just 48 through six. Material at nine, 91 through six. What a start. Here's Tom Drake, the captain of all variants. Down 35 right now on the string. First of three. What you split. Hitting well. 39 to four without a mark. McKenzie looking for a mark of his own. Strike three gets nine. Three pin remains. Drake is up to one, six, and ten. McKenzie missed it. Not very sharp this string so far. Outstanding bowler. Drake gets a 10. 49 through 5 without a mark. And McGinty gets it now. 46 half. <laughs> I asked him, we got an interest in bowling. He said, wasting money. <laughs> Quite a character. Don Drake, 6 10 right, 7 left. Get punished sometimes for the head pin, but overall it's a good thing. 47% of the time, you're on the head pin, you get a mark. Oh, there it is! McGinty Magic! 
56 plus 2 through 6. 41 mile an hour on the Bob Lee radar gun. Greg tried to kick it over, nothing doing. Oh no, one. Tom with a 9. 58 through 6. Price is wood. Increasing their lead. 36 right now. Two marks to one advantage also. Anchor ball is Rich Grassy. Lurch. He's working on a strike. Got a spare seven to second. Josh Daly is open his first four. 35 to four. Lurch. Thin hit left. Gets four. Daly drills the pocket. Two, four, seven. He won the ICC singles knockout last year. Did 127. Chris Merrill won it last night. Watch that thrilling match on Killer from Bowling Network. Daly on the board with his first mark. 45 half plus one. Lurch, nine on the strike, nine in the box. 54 through four, 63 half. Lurch, trying to get back to Mark Collins. One, two, seven, nine. Yeah, he's quite a character. Daly on the bonus. Seven. Rommeling six. Ten to the right of that. Seven left. He's got a bunch of wood. Working on a strike. That should be a spare. Dash is open. Oh, what a shot for a spare. Back to back. 52 half, 62 to ball through six. Grassy nine, 72 through six. Four blocks to go in the first of three springs from Pub 125 at Academy Lane Table Mass. This is the World Tournament, the ICC qualifying rounds. Second match for 11 this week. 9 a.m. tomorrow, 12 noon, 3 p.m. time approximate. Every day through Saturday. With the finals on Alley Chat. Cannonball never all the way through semifinals. Evan Riva. Perfect shot, Spread Eagle. Stephen Ash, he's working a strike through one ball, subbing of a ball dire, but a 45 half. He gets eight in that first ball. Good try by Riva. More in that field, 58 half. Ashy, nine the strike. 64 through six. And way left. Team Razzism. Ashy, nine. 73 through seven. Evan River, 65 through seven. 340 to 311. 29 pin lead for Price's Wood. Two marks to none advantage also for that. Driver, thin hit in the pocket. Breaks the buck up. Throw a bunch. He's got eight. Great Wood with a two and seven. And he asked you the lemon drop. One dollar for Kenneth Fitzgerald Cancer. Riva got it, missed the pin, but the wood took it. 75 in the ball through eight. Second spare, three boxes. Ashy gets the lemon drop again. It's in the hole. That's a big out. Ouch, half list of three box. So his first time in the world was a strike in his first ball. Tough break right there. 73 through 7, a three box, 76 to 8.
Stephen Ashew, the lemon drop. Put the bucket up front. Put it here, I'll, I'll do it. Two dollars lemon drop so far today for Kendall for Cancer. Second bowl is Cole find the right. One, three, six, and seven. Oh, what a shot for a spare. 76 in the ball through seven. Third mark of the string. DJ Fry, the father on the left, the son on the right. 66, punches through. 247, the three to the right. DJ, 9, 10, 11, 67 out of Bangor Brewer Lanes. This is 2.7 pound common bowling balls. Eight box, 68 through 7. The son. Strike! The father. Trying to match it. Is there better? Still wood to help though. The five, nine in the middle, seven, ten in the corner. Three pieces of wood. Full fly. A spare and strike. Eighty-six through seven. Ninety-six plus two through eight. For a spare. Oh wow! What a shot! Seventy-eight to ball through eight. Here's Tim Matero. Ninety-one through six on the right. Kobe Cat trying to get it going here. 48 through 6 and left. Tim enjoys baseball, hockey, basketball, football, and golf. Hobbies include golfing, reading, traveling, and anything Red Sox, Celtics, Bruins, and Patriots. Again, calls to Ripping Act Podcast with Brian Appen and Calvin Locke. Cap Whisker. His mother got him interested in bowling at a young age. Obi has the 7 8 left, 6 10 right, and three pieces of wood. Carol, good ball. Almost. I came left out. Oh, what a try. Look out. Yes, what a shot. Obi's on the board finally. Needed that one. 58 in the ball for 7. Matero, 10, 101 through 7. Tim made the picket fence, 7, 8, 9, 10. The back four without Wood one time in his career. He's made five strikes in a row and had seven strikes in a row overlapping two strings. Into the string of the four back and then started the next string with a triple strike. He's made 17 or 18 marks in a row overlapping two strings in the past. He's a big fan of late Charlie Milan and he steals a whole bunch. 1-6-10. Gary on the bonus. 5. The diamond plus the 10. 63 through 7. Tim looks up to Charlie Milan, Russ Neely, singing in the Hall of Fame. Scott Petty. Karen Matera, obviously. Currently Craig Holbrook, Bob Wickham, Jeff Surrett, Amanda Carroll, Jill Wood, and too many others to name. Both balls open. We'll talk about the state records next time up. It's an eight. 109 through 8. OB, spare 5, now a 10. 73 through 8. It's all price wood flooring here in the first. They're up 41. And they got two strikes. One here for Mike McGinty on the right. 56 plus 2, fitting really well. John Drake on the left. The ball variants, 58 open. Six. Without a mark. McGinty! McGinty Magic! Double strike! Wow! Seventy-six plus bonus balls. Don break the one, the eight, the nine. Two pieces of wood. Missed it. Drake gets the wood for 10. 68 through 7. Trying to get their first win. 
Price is what, 6 and 2 coming in after the first match. Bulgarians 0 and 8. Each team is rewarded two points for a win, one for a tie, two for total. And the standings get two points, obviously, for a win, one for a tie. Oh, there's a strike with Don Drake. That's more like him. First mark, finally. Great pinning. 78 plus 2 through 8. Just two pins left on the deck. Mike, on the second one, the strike, the 1, the 4, and the 8 in the back, in the middle. 27 at first double strike ball. Now 10 plus this one. The try, 9 the second double strike. At 46 half. And a 10. It goes from 46 through 5 to 102 through 8. Wow! Here's Josh Daly working on a second skater out of spare seven in the fifth. 62 in a ball. Lurch, Rich Grassy on the left, 72. Six. It's strike nine in the fourth. Daly. Check mark plus the ten. Five in the spare. 67 through six. Lurch, the 3 1 split, the 2 4 7, the 6 to the right. Daly for three in a row. What a try. Josh from Danvers, Massachusetts. Bridge of East Boston, Massachusetts. Pulls out Central Park Lanes. East Boston, Mass. Bowen says he could walk. Coming for 192. High single. Points back. It's 9 that time. 76 through 7. Lurch from 8. 80 through 7. Price is wood. In good shape to take the first two points. A commanding lead. So I told you, Mike, whenever I cover you, you do McGinty Magic most of the time. My good luck, John Paul. I think, I, think, I think it's heaven, that's why. Now, without you, I'm. Uh, when she's here, you always do good. <laughs> yeah. Didn't see us uh, yesterday, Bowl. <laughs> Just waiting for the. You like the limelight. Oh, yeah. I show up when it matters. All right, Daly is 7 8 10 with Wood. Oh, oh, right behind the seven. What a bit. Wow. Lurch for spare to try. Couldn't get to the two. To 10, 86 to 8. Lurch matches, 90 through 8. Back to the top of the order, final two boxes. This first of three strings on Candleton Bowling Network. Evan River on a spare left, 75 in a ball. Steven Ashley clearing for Paul Dyer. On 76 to 8, one of the three blocks. That's a 1 8, 6 10 to the right. Please, careful what you're saying. Stevie, just 16 years old on the all play in Belfast, Maine. Riva in the pocket, five, the hay bale. 80 to 8. Ash at 42 miles an hour, missed everything. Kind of working at consistency. Good try by having these open. Two and five. Steven, seven. 83 through nine. River and eight. Evans at 88 through nine. Steven Ashley, average overall 108. High single 169. High triple 415. High five 610. His first world tournament appearance. A strike at his first ball. Filling in the ball dire in the sixth box. Uses a 2.6 pound urethane bowling balls. Going for this three and a half years. Only gets three. His grandparents have been involved in bowling. Also works in all play. He's all fast me. About three hours. He's done a couple of, done three money matches up there. As much as all in Kenneth Bowling Network. There's a nice shot for a strike. Driver, 98 plus two in the tenth. Ashy, he's at the one and nine. 
The defending champs going to win the first string, get the first two points. They'll go to eight and two. Doesn't really matter if it's overall points. It matters the match. Two points in the overall standings for winning the match. Match is eight ninety one. All die at 45 half. Steve Nash in the second half, 46 half. Evan Viber for double. Look good. Look good. Yes. Bang. Double strike. Wow. One away plus bonus ball. I've been at 44 half open, and since then, a spare, another spare in between two boxes, and now a double spike in the tip. Keeps me leading the match. Takes his time. He's looking for turkey here. The triple strike. Went right, they got three. That 111 first string. Good second half. 67 half. Prices were dominating. The Benny Champs dominating here in the first. Then back to the father son combination. Cole Fry on the left. TJ Fry on the right. TJ's on a spare. Cole's on a strike. DJ Diamond plus the seven. 83 through 8. Cole has the Kaleri. First ball on the strike. 96 plus 2 coming in. 42, mi 42 miles an hour for Cole Fry. Oh, oh nice shot for DJ. Spare, back to back. 93 and a ball through 9. Cole Fry. There! Strike, what a shot! 116 through 8. 106 to 8. 160 to ball through 9. Cole using 2.7 pound bowling balls. DJ 2.7 pound on the bowling balls. Trucks on one on the spare. 94 to 9. Right. Throws the pocket. Looks good. Eight, nine. One twenty-five through nine. Here in the first of three from Haverhill, Massachusetts, at Academy Lanes, the biggest house in the world. Forty-four lanes. It was forty-eight. They put the pub in. Cup one twenty-five. Check it out. You won't not be disappointed. And he got it. <laughs> Bailey. Team, give him a hard time and a good find. One twenty-six of all the ten. And DJ gets a seven. 101 first string. It's all prices with flooring here in the first. Kobe Carrier will be up next for Bulgarians. First, Cole Fry finishing up his string. That's the five fill. Team Boos have good fun. 140 first string. He had 45 his first seven. 90 first three. He's right, 45 in his first four. He gets 95 in the last six. Superb ball by Cole Fry. And they lead the string big time. 548 to 433. Kobe Carrier, only 73 to 8. Tim Matero, 109 to 8 on the left. Had been it there, but 6 10 right, 7 8 left. Tim holds the main state records as he gets 7 8 right, 6 10 right with Wood to help. High 3 of 502 tied with Furby Myers at Stars and Strikes in South Paris, Maine. Paris Lane Junior's house with Jody Neely. His doubles record of 27 80 is with Mark Hollywood Smith at Colonial Bowling Center in Westbrook, Maine. Another spare. 119 of all through nine. Colby could try. He's at the seven and eight.
I joke with Hollywood Smith because Tim is a double fighter. I'll pin him pretty bad, pretty bad. So I told him that uh, Tim is the reason why they won. He did fun. Eight for Colby Carrier, 81 to nine. Only two there. <laughs> Tim has the mixed team a record of 25-85 with Liam Lowe. Karen Matero's wife and Jim Singleton at good times playing in Lisbon Falls. Nine that built. 128 through nine. Kobe's open. Missed it. And the, the team boos him. <laughs> A good fun. Nice up with Kobe. Nine. Disappointing string. Just a 90. Here on the Paul Graham special, miss the second, make the third. 138. So Cole Fry bragging rights his teammate 140. Tim Matera 138. Just start another lemon drop. One dollar. Go tell him, Lori. Go tell him. Lori, go tell him. Tom Drake, 78 to 8, the captain. The team is struggling. And Mark is trying to get the 500. Mike McGinty, a double strike. 102 Drake coming in here. He's got the 7 left, the 6 10 right, a boatload of wood. Drake off the wall, spare. 98 in the ball through 9. McGinty a spare. 112 in the ball through 9. Mike is 25 years old. Drake on the spare. Nice ball. Eight. That looked like a strike. That's the eight and nine left up. 1069. McGinty on the bonus. Six. Triangle. Four, seven, eight. The right is the nine pin. 118 through nine. Drake the spare. Will it go? Yes. Back to back spares. 160 ball. Another spare. McGinty. One twenty-eight in the ball, the tenth. They're pouring it on here in April. Drake on the bonus. Head pin only five. McGinty on his spare. Six. And so with a one thirty-four. The second third fourth ball is one forty, one thirty-eight, one thirty-four. They're stacked. And Chris Bell's not bowling this time either. Spare five for Don Drake, one twenty-one. Birch has the one, two, and the seven. Josh Kelly, 86 to 8, is open. Daly, the two, the seven, the ten. Two pieces of wood. One and back. Birch can't connect. Kelly missed the object pin. Birch, a 10, 100 to 9, daily and 9, 95 to 9. They don't need the anchor ball today, Josh Daly, because their team is bringing it here. Evan River had a slow start, had a monstrous second half, 111. Look at those scores on your screen, folks. That's why they're the defending champions. A lot of people are picking them to win or at least be in the finals. No guarantee. Any given day. Haley, the one, three, six, and nine, hiding behind the three pin. Final blocks of the first of three strings. Another match afterwards, except the broadcast on Kalenton Bowling Network. There'll be some minor changes for the Bulbarians to start the second. Lurch, a seven, 107 first string. You're just a five, ten. Team total, though, not get the job done against Price and Wood. Daily, 10, 105. And 628 to 510, a whopping 118 pin win.
for Price's Wood Flooring. Let's bring in Bob Lee here. Is that a 105 for Daly? 105 for Josh Daly. No, the score changed a couple times on the official scorekeeping. So, anyway, that was a 6-28, a 5-10 match. I mean, 628 would have qualified. Yeah, you know, think about that as uh, your five-string qualifier. That would have qualified for the singles, uh, probably in uh, 13th, 13th position yesterday. Anyway, um, Stephen Ash is going to stay in at first. I don't believe we have any other lineup changes. Evan River lining up on 36. Okay. Throw the first ball in the second. Now back to you, Paul. Hi, right, thanks, Bob. Paul Grant, Bob Lee with you live from Academy Lanes Pub 125, Haverhill, Massachusetts, the World Tournament. Second match with three today on Candlepin Bowling Network. Please subscribe free on YouTube to Candlepin Bowling Network. Get your friends and family to sign up. Watch outstanding Candlepin Bowling. Candlepin Bowling. Over 300 videos. All of World Tournaments will be covered beyond Candlepin Bowling Network. And a 192 string over to our left for Sam Duguay, I believe it was. 192, a triple strike. We'll see if we can talk to him over here. Stephen Ashy strike to start the second. Sam, tell the viewers what you just accomplished. Tell us your name. Uh, my name's Sam Duguay. I just had a 192 with a triple strike and 19 finish. Not bad. Not tell bad. The ones who don't know you, tell. How you got started in Canada Bowling? Where you bowl from? We're from Windsor, Nova Scotia. We started bowling when we were eight years old. We now own the lanes we started bowling at. Very much fun. Always bowled twice a week. What's your high single? 200. Came close. That was close. Is there a triple strike pool here too? Uh, I don't know anything about a triple strike pool. I don't think there is. All right. Congratulations. Triple strike. 192. Not bad. Thank you very much. Right. Sam Duguay from Canada. Five and nine after. That nine box, Ashy working a strike, only three. A 192 by Sam Duguay from Canada. We'll see him sometime this week on Canada Football Network. Explosive team. Five for a spare, 19 the ball through two. Second of three strings. Ashy, second ball to strike, kills out with nine. 19 after one. There's a big, big hole after one. Losing by 118 to the defending champs. Nice pinning at 10 for the 16 year old sensation from Maine at all play. Belfast, check their lanes out. Beautiful facility. Belfast made next to Augusta. 29. Two, two for Stephen Ash. Old Fry led the team with a 140 first string. Leads off his second string with a 4 9 10 lead. DJ Fry had a 101 first string, has the one and a wobbling four. Nothing doing. Oh, on the head pin, won't carry the DJ. Ball five and eight to start the second of three. DJ five and ten. You want to have a good time? Check out Pub 125 here at Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. In the Bradford section of Haverhill. In this largest Canada bowling center in the world, 44 lanes, up 125, you will love it. Why not check out the full bar and that high quality food? Up 125, 725 South Main Street, Cable, Massachusetts, 125. Hey, Paul, back to the day. Uh, the Prices Wood flooring lineup averages over 40 miles an hour. And DJ Prime. It's a strike! Oh, it was a leap! That was the four that was the last one. 20 plus 2 through 2, ball 5 for Spare! Wow! What a shot! 18 the ball through 2. This holiday season, all season long, please consider Canopin gift cards. A great way to get friends and family in this great game of Canopin bowling. Encourage them to join a league. The best way to do it, Canopin gift cards. Makes a great stocking stuffer, Yankee Swap. 
a gift for all season also. Please check your local bowling centers for availability in lanes and for holiday specials. Kennelman Gift Cards this holiday season, all season long. Please support your local bowling centers. Kennelman Gift Cards, the gift that keeps on giving. Tim Matero at 138. Straight to start the second. Wow. We'll be carrying up a 91st string, trying to get on track here as the post. Bounces it, chops up the three. Tim Mateo's main Caleb and Pro Tour records has a high single of 210 at Eastwood Lanes in Ellsworth, Maine. House records, Stars and Strikes Bowling Center in South Paris, Maine. I'll be there December 1st, going to Mensley. I'll count them all never. Thursday, December 1st. Hope we get to 7. Stars and Strikes Bowling Oxford Hills Bowling Center. Tim has a high single there of 215, high triple of 502. Has a Colonial Bowling Center high 10 of 1459. Good Time Lane's high 10 of 1399. Eastward Lane's high single of 210. High triple of 486, high five 723, and high ten of 1385. Close to right. Gets five. Working a strike. Colby Carrier crossing over for a strike. Got it. Got the dominoes to deliver. It's a good feeling for him. He struggled the first. 17 plus two through two. Chero, second ball to strike. Audrey Pitt, nothing else. 16 through 1. Lucky Strike Bowling sent a high record. A triple of 488 for Tim Matero. And we'll talk about the Main State Kennel from Pro Tour records next. Definitely Hall of Fame. Begins it. Next year. 8 blocks, 24 through 2 in string number 2 of 3. Ball variants trying to get their first points in this match. Tough match here against Bryce Wood Flooring. Mike McGinty had a 134 in the first. That's the 1378. Dominic Don Drake from Bruin Maine, the 30 year old. Spare chance with a 3610. McGinty, good try. That's the 70 left up. Drake picks it up for a spare. Their team has three marks, two strikes and a spare on the board. So two spares for Price is good. Get the also got a 10. Nice offer. <coughs> Nine through one to start his second string. McGinty, nice ball. 2 1 split. The 6 9 and the 8 to left. Don Drake on the bonus. Nice ball. 9. 10 pin left up. Clean shot at it. Could use the wood if he wants to. 19 through 1. And the second of 3 from Haverhill, Mass. McGinty in the middle. Drake missed it. Gintie joints it for an 8. 17 through 2. So I'm at a 121, the bright spot for their team at first. Wide left for 9. 28 through 2. Continuing coverage, live coverage all week long on Camel from Bowling Network, the World Tournament. Appreciate you going as the International Kennelton Championship. All week long on Kennelton Bowl and Network, 9 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., time approximately every day through the semifinals on Saturday with Alley Chat doing the finals here from Haverhill, Massachusetts. If you want to see a great <laughs> match, come check it out here. As Daly gets a strike to start a second, you will not be disappointed. You've seen the best goals in the game all over the world here today and all week long. Place is packed. We'll get bigger and bigger as the week goes on as we approach the playoffs Friday night. We'll have two regular rounds 
Friday, the playoffs start on Friday night. One match in quarterfinals, semifinals will have Saturday. And the Alley Chair with the finals after that. Lurch, nice up. Pretty shot for 10. Two little shots. Ever go for spares? 10 after 1. One oh four eighty eight. Ball bearing ball bearing is actually the lead right now by sixteen. Marks it even, two apiece. Daly on the strike, first ball five. Mother here in attendance. Lurch. Four horsemen plus the seven eight with a spinning piece of wood. Daly, second ball, good try on the object pin. 17 through 1. Lurch, good ball. Both holes, 7 10. Daly, a 9, 26 through 2. In the second of 3. In our second of 3 matches. Grass, nice shot, almost a 10, gets 9. 19 on, through 2. Load up, buddy. Back to the top of the order. 113-104, a 9-10 lead for Bulbarians. Steven Asher, a strike 9 to 10. 29 to 2, he's on lane 36. Whispering fastball, 9. Missed the head pin. A lot of times people miss the head pin and get 9. A lot of times they don't take the second shot. Shannon Duguay on fire to our, to our left in a 192 first thing. He just threw a spare strike. Evan Driver, 6. On the spare, 25 through 2. Ashley for a second mark. Got it this time. Announces Jinx in his favor. 39 the ball for 3. Driver, a ball. What a try. Flew right over the 5 and 9. Would not come down for a landing. Nine, 34 through three. Steven out just trying to work in his consistency and his control. Watch out for this kid, this guy, folks. Steven Ash from All Play Bowling Center in, all, in our Belfast, Maine. Powerball eight. 47 through three. Driver on the nose, nine. Just a seven pin left. He's got two pieces of wood. He needs to use it. Ash, you another one. Missed it. Not even close. And that's the thing he has to work on to get his game to the next level. Driver, right on a stair. 44 and a ball through four. Ashley, the ball grand special. Missed the second, make the third. 10, 57 through four. You know it's a missed opportunity there. He'll get better and better, though. Second bowler is a five. Both fly in the left. His father, DJ, fly in the right. Barbarians have a slight lead. 12 right now. Down triple divots in the match. DJ's working to strike two in the first ball. Both fly on a spare. Only three. 21 through two in string number two. Fry, senior, you could say. Fry, the father, six minutes strike. 26 through two. Well, the sun spare, beautiful shot. Back to back the hard way. 31 of the ball through three. DJ and eight. 34 through three. No mark, actually one mark, a swipe of Kobe carried next for the Barbarians on the right. Two marks, both fairs. The betting chance price with Floyd, one year, Cole Fry on the left. DJ plus left got a break, has the one, three, and the ten, what the hell? Five, hit, 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 nine! Kingpin left up, that's the five pin, high piece of wood, 43. DJ for spare looks good. Oh, wouldn't go on the object pin too thin. That's the three and the ten. Who 
try. Uh, ball almost came back and took it. Two point special. Threw the wood and the ball at it. The wood give it, the wood take it. 10 for DJ. Try. 44 through 4. Cole gets it this time. 50 through 4. Kobe carry on the right. Working on a strike. 17 plus 2 on lane 36 here at Academy Lanes. Great place to bowl. Book your birthday party share. Contact Academy Lanes. Great owners. Ernie and Ted. And son Josh. Barrow. First ball on the strike. Looks at left. Only two. Tim Matero has strike six and eight. 24 through two on the left. Tim Matero, the Main State Candleton Pro Tour. Man five is a hay bale. He's got about 31% for Pro Bowlers on wood. Again, stats by Candleton Bowl Network. Kobe, second ball on the strike. Outside, only a five, Phil. 22 through two. Zero for a spare. Wheels it down. 34 and a ball through three. Great shot. Kobe and eight. 30 through three. Main Kennelman Pro Tour Bowl of the Year three times, Tim Matero. The 1996-97 season, the 99-2000 season, and the 2003-04 season. His nine Pro Tour Star victories. Only Al Joy and Russ Dealey Sr. with more men's pro stop wins. And we'll talk about those also later on. On the bonus, eight. He's got wood to help. The four and the eight. 42 through three. Colby, a chance here at the wood. One, two, or six. This is for a spare. Books it. Missed opportunity. Mateo, another spare. Three marks and four boxes. Back to back spares. DJ and 8, 38 through 4. Tim Matero, 52 through 4. Yeah. He's thinking about retiring. I always tease him. He's too good to retire. He's struggling consistently. The red hot overall. Play. John Drake, 9. How about Julian? You can't retire. I am retiring. Drake is there. Shoes were off when I retired. 38 in the ball. The three is second spare. Spare nine in the first. McGinty missed the chance for a spare. Open his first three blocks. here in the second. 10, 27, and 3. John Drake crosses over. Five pins scoots over. Inverted a uh, uh, makeshift hay bale. Can't do the diamond. John Drake played basketball at Maine Maritime. He has the three to the right, the five to the left. Gintie for spare. Won't go. He's at the five and eight. Drake. Oh, the wood ball hit the five. It wouldn't go. For a nine. 52 through four. Good start. And a 121 last string. Gintie a 10. 37 through four. Had a similar start last string that poured it on. Got a 134. Anchor ball is the lurch, Rich Grassy. On the right, the ball variants. Josh Daly on the left. Bryce is wood. Just three for lurch. 19 through two, Josh 26 through two. Rich going for over 56 years and Joyce ball. And he's not bowling. Daly off to the right. Steals a bunch, has the one, nine, and ten. Lurch finds the hole. Pretty good, uh, good down bowler in his day. 195 high single, career high average of 125, high triple 478, 
high five 746 and not too shabby high 10 1320 Kelly good pin it won't go Birch, that's five to go. That's going to stay that way. Five blocks. Stay with the ten. Birch, 24 through three. Josh, 36 through three. Josh had a great year last year. At a 183, 111, and 184 in the semifinals of the U.S. Invitational all of the worlds last year, minus Canada, called the U.S. Invitational. 478, this high triple in the semifinals. Thrilling performance by Josh Daly. <laughs> we got a substitute here now. We'll get the name here in just a moment. Daly gets four on the left. Shane Witherman. Shane Witherman. I don't think we have anything. Shane Witherman filling in. It's open. It's, it's Daly. Shane with him filling in gets a 10, 57 through 4. A correction, 8 uh, filling in for Lurch. Correction, 9, my mistake, look at the wrong scoreboard, 33 through 4. Well, first time seeing Shane with him. Shane, first time blowing the worlds? Yes, sir. Welcome. Tell, tell the viewers about your game and as uh, Daly got a 10, 46 through 4. It's off the order now. Devin Rivers on a spare, 7. 51 through 4. Tell the viewers about you, how you started bowling, and... Well, I was born... Tell us your name. Yeah, my name's Shane Witham. I was born and raised in Augusta, Maine. Bowled out of 1710 since I was five years old, you know, and I've uh, been sticking with it ever since, and uh, here I am for my first event for the Worlds. Are you ready to Carl and Katie with them? Yes, I am. How are you related? Uh, brother, uh, it's my cousin, and... Um, my sister is uh, Katie with them, so nice. so um, we actually got our team uh, s sponsored by Topside Gaming and uh, Iron Mine LLC, and I'd like to give them a shout out. Thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Welcome to the Worlds. Thank you. Thank you. Shane with them, filling in for Lurch and anchor spot. Pressure there. First time with the Worlds, and you're throwing the anchor spot. Evan Rye for an eight fifty nine half nine. For there's a strike for Riva. 69 plus 2 through 6. Stephen Ashey had a 9, 66 half. A lot of great bowlers in Maine, not well known. Ashey punches right through the middle. Two, five, nine. Zig no, sideboards. Eight to left, he gets a seven. Seventy-three through six. Let's get an update in the score from Bob Lee. Well, with that, uh, with that last exchange, you just talked to Shane Witherman. Uh, it's a real tight match here. It's 254 to 233. I mean, the, the match is gun, but the game is real tight. It's a 139 pin lead in the match. Uh, we were down to as few as four a minute ago, but uh, Evan, Evan Reva's uh, work in the in the in the fourth and sixth has uh, has helped lead them to about a 20 pin lead. So keep the call on this game. That you know, that's all that's all Barbarians are looking for is two. Realistically, well, if I missed a chance for a spare there, he's at the kingpin, the five pin. DJ, he's up four. Fry a nine. Full fry. 69. Crutch a 59 half. And DJ, a 10. Uh, Crutch a nine. 53 half. 249. 
The Barbarians 263 for Price is Wood. Price went up 14 in the spring. They had the match pretty much in hand. There's still a spring and a half to go. Four five, nice ball. That looks like a strike. Ends up with a six to the right, eight to the left. Possible piece of wood to help. And it's a Caleri lead. It's a bowler, Bob Caleri. Fry, I kick it over, just everything. Field goal. Well, DJ Trask will be substituting for Kobe Carrier. Uh, Fry, nine. 53 half. A correction, 62 through 6. And DJ Fry, he's at 63 through 6. Who's he filling in? Who's DJ filling in for? Kobe Carey. Oh, Kobe Carey taking a break. DJ Trash taking his place. Two seventy two, two fifty nine. Defending champs price went up by thirteen in strength. It's Tim Matero on a spare fifty two to four. Just off the head thing gets four. Piece of piece of wood to help. Fifty six to four. DJ Trask filling in. Kobe Carey. Kobe has 38 to 4. He can substitute for the first five boxes. It's a long shot of marking the fifth box. Oh, what a shot in the triangle! 45% chance to convert. Gets it to go. Off the bench. 48 to ball through 5. Matero. 8. 64 half. Zero. One. Seven, eight, and ten. On the bonus. Just three. Tough hole. DJ Trask trying to get a big out here. Material with a high-low jack of 1710. We'll talk about more of his accomplishments next time up. Both with seven boxes. Material, 71 through 6. Trask, 58 through 6. Come on, Michael. Let's Big go, Dark man. Shadows fan. Trask's a villain in that show. The Reverend Trask from Dark Shadows. Great show. Couldn't stand the character, obviously. Shout out to the Dark Shadows fans out there. Mike McKinty, 37 through 4, looking for his first crack as the bundle of six. John Drake, on the left, 52 through 4, is open. Drake, the 1 4 7. McKinty, wide left. Drake up to go on the delay. Slow motion spare. He'll take it. 62 F plus one. The only bright spot overall for his team so far. Stephen Ashley on a good string. 73 through six. McKinney halfway through the second string. 46 half. McKinney. On the nose, makes the split. 3 6 10. 
51% success rate for pro bowls on wood. Snatched by California Network. Drake drills nine the spare. Second spare nine in the string and spare five also. 71 half. McGinty down the nose for a spare. He's on the board, 56 in the ball. Drake, another one. Was a little shimmy. Back to back spares. Four spares in the string. 81 of the ball through six. 3 10, 3 8. It's a two pin lead for Bryce Wood flooring. He had the mark advantage, though, two marks to one, including a strike. Nate Lees filling in for Josh Daly. Oh, spare, pretty shot off the bench. Here's Shane with him. First time the Wolves. Filling up for Lurch. Good experience for us. Good offer, won't go. Six, nine right, seven left. Nate Lee's won the very first, as Shane gets a 740 out in line with Lurch. Nate Lee's won the first ever Atlantic Campaign singles to a pro division five seasons ago. That's right, gets seven on that. One, two, and a ten. 63 half. Line with Josh Daly. With them, eight. That's the one in the center. Eight. Bounces back on the ball. Gets a one ten left up. Six feet three half to nine. And here's Josh Daly. Josh, 46 is first quarter. Nice shot. Look at the spare. His first mark of the world tournament. Welcome to the world. It's a good feeling. 15 of all. Shane. Congratulations, you have your very first you. mark in the world. Thank you. Good uh, feeling, isn't it? Absolutely. absolutely. You're nervous. The anchor, no pressure. I mean, the anchor bowler, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I like the pressure. I feed off of it. Well, tell the viewers how old you are. Tw I'm 31 right now. You look like a teenager. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Life's been treating me good. <laughs> good luck, guys. Rest yeah, away. thank you. Shane with them. Top of the order. Paul Graham probably the live on Kenneth Bowl Network, the world tournament team competition, second qualifying round of 11 this week. Another match after this, a separate broadcast on Candle and Bowling Network. Stephen Ashey, 4 2 split. Evan Miver on a strike. Good hip. He's got the 5 right, 4 7 left, 1 piece of wood. Ashey on the nose. Can't get the go. Good offer. The 7 9 left up. Viva, nice try. Eight in the strike, 77 through six. Ash, you could try a nine, 82 through seven. Viva, a nine. 86 for seven. Second string of three. Second match of three. Ashy. It's a commentary of Maine's honey match. I guess three. Driver breaks up the diamond. Ends up with a two, a four, and the eight behind the two men. Ash, nice ball, won't carry. Great bid. Driver off the wall, good try. Nine. 91 through 8. 
Woods coming out of play. John Drake will remove that. Again, live coverage all week long on Candle and Bowling Network, 9 a.m. tomorrow, 12 noon and 3 p.m. time approximate. Three three string matches all week, including the up to the semifinals on Saturday. Players start Friday night after two regular rounds. Opening rounds start Friday night. Quarterfinals Saturday morning, 9 o'clock. Around noontime or so, the semifinals in the alley chat will bring the finals up to 3 p.m. this Saturday. Ashy with a 9, 91 to 8. Evan Reimer, 10, 96 to 8. T.J. Trask goes left, got a break, has the one and the eight. Cole Fry, fireballer, nine. Yep. Nice shot, spare for D.J. Cole Fry, 42 miles an hour, missed it. Had a bunch of wood, and hell, possibly missed everything somehow. Hard to find those spots. Something, something I would do. And that won't count in the gutter. Just a couple opportunities to string. And then it irks him. Nine box, 77 through 7. Ball bearings looking at the first two points. He's got 18 right now in the string. He got three marks on the board. So one. The price is wood. DJ with the diamond. Cole Fry, triangle left corner, a wobbling three to the right. I make up the nine pin, I should say, from our angle. Hard to tell from where we are, way back. Four, seven, eight in the left. I believe that's the six pin to the right. Three pin again, can help here. DJ's open with a triangle, two, four, and the five. Cole Fry, off the wall, to try. Somehow the seven didn't go. D. Chase started bowling over 22 years ago. He just wanted something to do, so he started bowling. He gets a seven, 86 through eight, cold fly, a 10, 87 through eight. 86 through eight for DJ. Tim Matero on the left. 71 through 6. Kobe Carey was substituted. DJ Trask. 15 uh, with one, two balls to one for the Barbarians. Barbarians. They still have a shot at it. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Leave the update. Mateo, strike! 81 plus 2 through 7. Second strike for the straight and go with two spares. Open. Four left, three six in the right. Eight box. Sixty six through seven. Ninth for Tim Matera. Nine pro stop tour. Nine pro tour stop victories. We mentioned earlier. Too many. Too many to the list. Part of the 2001 Men's World Main Heat Championship. DJ, the 4 7 left, the 6 to the right. 118 league bowler, high single 196, high triple 458, high five 654, and even 1100 and swinger. Material working the strike, has the 1, 2, 4, the 6 10 to the right. DJ out of 117 Augusta Sports Center. It's open. Matero, what a try! Nine in the strike, 90 through seven. DJ Bowling for 35 plus years. He's in 2.6 pound urethane foam ball. It's a nine, 75 through eight. Matero, 10, 100 through eight. Tim, part of the 2008 Mixed Worlds. 2018 International Mixed Doubles with Aaron Merrill. From the U.S. Invitational last year, obviously, Price is Wood. 
won the Mixed Worlds this year also, right here at Academy Lanes. Drake strike, what a shot on spare. McKenzie in the pocket, crossing over. Wood to help the three, six to the right, the eight to the left. Don Drake, 91 through six, 101 plus two through seven. McKenzie, seven in the spare, 63 through six. Oh, what a shot. Back to back spares. 73 to ball through seven. Every time ball variance trying to get back in the lead. Well, come close. Bryson Wood has an answer. Drake, double would be huge. He has the one, three, six spare chance. McGinty on the spare. Looks good. Nine. Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Nine to spare. 82 to seven. Drake missed it. Spare. Three locks in a row. 92 to ball three. Drake the Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. A 10. 118 through 8. Four forty six, four twenty prices with flooring. Now at least by twenty six. Shane with them making his debut here, thirty one year older. In the anchor position, Lurch is working on a stair. Just missed to get seven. That's the one, seven, eight, fifty seven half. Pressure fifty seven through six. Nate Lee's going to Josh Daly, nine. Almost a Julian. Hitchens last one to fall to Julian. Got the Dave Julian in Canada. Shane could try. Let's go. Oh, what a shot for his pair. Wow. Incredible. Back to back spares. 67 to ball through seven. Please missed it. I was saying earlier, a lot of times it happens. You make a nine drop. Miss the head pin. You missed the second shot. Shaner, 124 average bowler, 185 high single, high triple 421, high five 698 out of 1710 bowling center Augusta, Maine. Tens to Davies, 81 through 7. Shane whip up for strike, good! Bang! Two spares to strike, three in a row! 87 plus 2 to 8. Nate Lee's the hay bale, minus 1. Look to help. Paul well, Variance making a run for a, a two point win here in the second. He's still dropping one run now unofficially. Nate Lee's still has a box to finish up, though. So he'll take the lead. He has some good wood here, getting advice how to play it. The 1, 3, 7, 9, and 10. Great wood. You hit it perfectly in the pocket. Missed it. Thrilling second string here, string here in Abram Mass at the World Tournament. Leaves a 10. 91 through 8. Two boxes to go. 466, 457. The Benny Champs prices wood up by nine. One spare for them. One strike for the Barbarians. Evan Iver, 91, 96 through eight. Stephen Ashley, 91 through eight on the left. Riva on the nose, breaks the split. Shoot four, Wood to possibly help also. Oh, he's now. Ashy on the nose, bullseye shot, spread eagle. And he's only going 1% of the time for pro bowls about Wood. Stats provided by Canlifan Bowling Network, just 20% for 10 boxes. Riva, spare! 106 of all the ninth. Ashy off the wall. Oh, what a try! Almost. 
That would have been something. Missed it for nine. All that Woody missed it. 100 to nine. Price of Wood pushing the lead up. It's 10 right now. Two spares to one advantage. A strike, actually, for Shane with them. The ball variance. Two spares for Price of Wood. One here from Evan River. On lane 36 from Haverhill, Massachusetts, Academy Lanes, Club 125. In the pocket, thin hit. Into the Greek Church. 111 to 9. Flashy in the pocket. Decent wood, the 5 8 in the middle, 7 10 corner post. Looks like three pieces of wood from our vantage point. Thrilling second string here at the World Tournament. One more swing after this, then one more match after that. Driver trying to kick it over, chopped out the middle pin. Ashy wide right. Driver hits it with an eight. 119 second string, 111 first, 119 second, 230 through two. Stephen Ashey, a nine, 109. String for the 108 average bowler, just 16 years old, out of all play in Belfast, Maine. Eight boxes to go. Prices went up by 14 now. One spare for them, one strike for Bulbarians. Cole Fry, 87 through eight. 22. Nice ball, nine. DJ Fry, that's the kingpin left up. Cole Fry, oh, almost. Three pin, three pin Lisa, uh, left up. DJ Prespin missed it. Oh, 10. 97 through 9. A brilliant 141st string. Back to earth here in the second. 10 to DJ. 96 through 9. Cola 199 high single. 464 high triple. 729 high five. And a high 10 of 1335. Outstanding bowler 122 over our league average. In the pocket again. Eight, two and a seven. DJ, one, the three and the eight. And you suck it to Mark. Down 14 in the string, trying to get their first two points. All right, field goal. DJ for spare. No. Five, nine, 106 second string, 246 through two. DJ at nine, 105 second string. Six bucks to go on the second of three on Canada for Bowling Network. 508-494. It's a 14-pin lead for the three champs. Price is with flooring. One spare for them, one strike for the Bulgarians. Tim Matero on the right, 100 through 8. Holding carry substituted by DJ Trask. The combination is 75 through 8. Chero off to the right. Still to head pin. Dominoes almost delivered. Nine in that first ball. DJ Trask, Washburn. He can't get the action that Tim got. One, two, four, seven. Thirty-six percent success rate for four horsemen's. Stats provided by Kenneth Bowles. The pro balls about wood material. Surveying the wood. Check in with the captain, Nate Lees. For a 
spare. Got it. 110 of the ball through nine. DJ missed that bin. And the string is getting away now. They've had their chances. Ten. Eighty-five through nine. Five boxes to go in the second. Still a 14-pin lead. But two marks to one advantage for Price's Wood. Again, 9 a.m. tomorrow, starting with our first of three matches every day this week, and two on Saturday on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Tiro in the pocket. Six. 116 through nine. DJ Trask for a strike bid eight. Has the half whistle left the two in the eight. Also, that wood could help. Needs a mark. Matero looks good. Spare. Wow. What a shot. Back to back spares. At 138 the first. And DJ can't connect. One twenty-six in the ball for Tim Matero. Ten to DJ. Ninety-five string for Kobe Carrier. Now they're probably in double strike territory, the Barbarians. Matero on the bonus seven. Generous lead the one two seven. 133 second string, 271 through two. Who's talking about retirement? Mike McGinty on a spare, 92 and a ball through eight. Four box to go here in the second. Can't been hit, only six. 98 through eight. Don Drake, 118 through eight. That's the one and the two. Kenty could try. Oh, it does go! Wow! What a shot for a spare! Slow motion spare. Drake missed it. One away in the ball through nine. Drake the Paul Grant special. Missed the second. Make the third for a 10. Just stop watching my videos. 128 in the ball through nine. McGinty Magic here in Haverhill. <laughs> On the fill. Right through the middle, six. 114 through nine. Break, only four. They had their chance, they were right there with the experience. They have Price with flooring. Getting chucks on one. Drake. Nice ball spare. Beautiful shot. 138 in the ball in the 10th. India 7. 121. 134. 121. 255 through 2. Don Drake, the only bowler doing really well for the ball variants. 121 in the first. Best he can do is a 148 with a strike. And on the bonus five, 143 for the captain, Don Drake. 264 through two, two blocks to go. 575-39. So Bryce as well will take the first two strings. They go up four nothing. They have the match in the end. So Valverians try to get the first win of the day. In the third string. They leave only four. Shane Witham is working on a strike here. Only three. Please, good try. Shane from Augusta, Maine. It's 
Probably going to be Bob Bourne. 2009 Maine Division IV Kids State Champion. One of the all events in Maine. State titles in the kids also. Enjoys disc golf also. Nice out for a 10. 102 to 9. Nate Lee's a 9. 100 to 9. Another string to go, another match after that. All on Channel for Bowling Network. Lee's crossing over. Eight. Five left. Six to the right. What the hell? Shane with him. One, two, and eight. He's done well filling in here in the second string. Has a spare seven and a strike. Two spares and a strike. Lee's just missed it so close. Hey Lee's got it that time. Nice shot. Ten. O only a good fun for me though. Nay Lee's one ten. Playing with Josh Daly. And Shane with them at eight for one ten. The final score in the second string. One more to go. 589, 562, Prices Wood hangs on by 27. They're up by a boat load, boat load. One string to go. Let's bring in Bob Lee. Well, Paul, that was uh, that one got close. The the lead was down to four at one point for uh, Prices Wood flooring, but they are now looking for a sweep. The um, final final score in that match: 589 to 554. Let me make sure that. We got the last score registered. No, it gets 562. 589 to 562. We had a lot of substitutions there. Um, the leaders so far on the day looks like uh, Dom Drake at 264. Tim Matero actually a little bit ahead of him at 271. As the bowlers get started here in the third string, well, I'll, I'll start adjusting the scorecard and carry you through the action. Back to that original screen. I'm going to take the scoreboard down for just a second while I repair it as Evan Re Reba. Steve Ashey starting things off with a strike. It's, they are looking for their uh, first points today. They were 0-8 in game one, 0-4 so far today. Evan is waiting. <laughs> Looks like he's getting some advice from Aaron St. Cyr. I think the advice would be hit the head pin. Go for a pocket if you can. A little motion, a little speed. Evan throws a 39 mile an hour. Right to left ball. Stands approach like a lefty. And last eight out. He's got, he's got the... Uh, 8-9 remaining. Normally impossible, but with two pieces of wood on the 8, he needs to bounce it. He spins the wood instead and connects on the spare. Nice job there. So a strike and a spare to start things off in the top of the third here. First time through the order. Paul, i got to work on my scoreboard now if you can take over the broadcast. Uh, we had a spare and a strike, so uh, Ashley's working on a strike. Evan just, just pulled six on his spare, so just like that, you're, on, you're, in, the, you're in the second ball, second box. Any changes in the last five miles away? Not that I've been informed about, so okay. you should probably come up to your cap for a seat. Okay. All right. Great to be with you again, Paul Grant, Bob Lee, on Canop and Bowling Network. Please subscribe free on YouTube to Canop and Bowling Network. Free on YouTube, Canop and Bowling Network. Tell your friends and family about the great game of Canop and Bowling. Evan River, spare six, spare. 26 in the ball through two. Steve Ashia, strike nine in the nine, 28 through two. Steve Ashia, 16-year-old from Belfast, all played. 
Bowling Center. Welcome to the Worlds. Great experience, huh? Yeah, it's been a good time so far. Shane Witham did really well, too, in the, in the pressure situation, first time in the anchor spot. Yeah, he did. Uh, that shot he hit in the 10th frame should have gone, but it is what it is. I got a bone to pick, I got a bone to pick with you. I got a bunch of wild shirts. You haven't sold one up in all play. No one's buying them from me. You got to offer it. Get off. I've been offering I've been asking them. Yeah. No one seems interested in it. You, know, you can't. You can't say. Do you want to buy a wow? You have to say. You have to get one. You know, if it's a yes, no answer, they're going to say no. The sales training. That's good to know. I'll have to try that on. We'll see how many I sell then. Stephen Ash, <laughs> just have fun with you. All right. Back to live action. Both fly a ten to start the third and final string of this match. Another match after this. Separate broadcast. Three more tomorrow, starting at 9 a.m. Every day this week for Saturday. DJ Fry is on the right for Bulgarians. Still looking for the first win today. Nice ball strike, what a shot! A no doubter, 18 plus 2 for DJ Fry for the Bulgarians. 115 league bowler. With a high single 161, high triple 408, high five 613. Out of Bangor Brew Lanes in Bangor, Maine. All five, three two split. Only gets two. Fry missed it for seven, 17 through two. Bulgarians are free right now, just with four boxes here in the third. They were right there with them, hanging around for a while. Vice would pull the leg on the second. Have all four points. I want to say this uh, while well, he had the opportunity. Bulgarians have the lead. By yep. Yep. It hasn't been sent too much today for them. Space Invaders. Okay. The Rocks to Aaron St. Cyr. What's up, Paul? Nice ball, nine, ten! Strike! Hey, what team are you cheering for? The DJ Trap. I have to be neutral. Keep it down. I gotta be neutral. Oh, come on, cheer for Nate. He's colorblind. He needs all the help he can get. Come on, Nate, go rip it up. Aaron St. Cyr, the rock star, 25 years old now. Am I? Yeah. I'm old. Language. Oh, sorry, my bad, yeah. That's this, is rated P this is rated PG, not for me. Shoot. Shoot. Nate Lee's is open. Knock them all down. Knock They're winning because you're not bowling. Is that why, Aaron? Yes, 100% why. Um, yeah. Me and Billy. If you put me and Billy in the lineup, it's They're going to bench, they're gonna bench you. Put Steve Latch in. Okay. Yes. For sure, it's done. Right, Steve? We should recruit uh, Freshy as well. Um, <laughs> we need all the height. Um, Dave Godwin, too. He's uh, you got the crime of the century. You got you got Chris Merrill on your team this year, too. Yes. Um, he doesn't seem to miss a shot. Uh, he doesn't really try. He doesn't care. DJ, a bit for a double down. strike. It's nine. DJ's good too. Good piece of wood for a spare and strike opportunity. Lee's off to the right. Nate's better. Horseman, 1, 2, 4, 7. 10 in this first box. All right, Aaron St. Cyr, good luck the rest of the way. Going for the, going, to, going for the repeat. A spare and strike for DJ. 20 through 1, 30 the ball through 2. Lee's spare. 20 the ball through 2. Maybe he's both third this string. Mike McGinty on the left. Don Drake on the right. Not been brilliant all day. At least in this match, 121 and 143. Mike has scores of 134 and 121. Um, 121, 143. McGinty drills nine. Drake almost would nudge the five. Wouldn't go. McGinty clean shot the five. Right on it. Spare to stop the third. Three marks to the board for Price's Wood. Drake a ten. Three marks to two in favor for Price's Wood. Oh, 
Definitely the great game of Kennebun Bowl in this holiday season, all season long. Please consider Kennebun gift cards. It's a great way to get friends and family to the bowling centers in fresh during weeks. Get the girls nine on the spare, 19 through one. Kennebun gift cards are a great holiday gift, stocking stuffer. A gift for all year round, too. Kennebun gift cards, holiday season. A gift that keeps on giving. Great with a spare. 20 in the ball through two. McGinty joints it. Ten. Twenty-nine through two here in the third. Shane with them. Give the taste of the world for the first time. On lane 36, starting his first full string in the World Tournament. Close left, has the portion right to 1, 3, 6, 10. Again, he's only going 36%. That's for full bowl, so that would. Stats provided by Kennelton Bowling Network. Tim Matero, same thing. A piece of wood. Tim, well all day. Born. It's the anchor here. Anchor on the third. It's the anchor with him. Material to match? No. Material with a nine. Early five pin lead here in the third for the Bulbarians. Shane Witham is on a spare, lead 36. In Haverhill, Massachusetts. Up 125, great place to hang out. Check the new full bar. Beautiful restaurant. On the bonus, close left. That's the post. 15 through 1 here in the third. Matero, see how it's right. Triangle right side is 6 9 10. The 1 2 4 7. Four horsemen left. With a nice ball. Good try. Nine two in a row. 37 mile an hour fastball. Oh, what a try by Matero! With the Maten, 25 through 2 in the final swing of the match. Don't forget, we'll have a third match today shortly after this spring is over. Separate broadcast on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Material 9, I think a 10 after a 9 box. 19 through 2, back to the top of the order. 121 to 111, a 10 pin lead for the Barbarians. They want three marks to two for Bryce's Wood. Evan River, spare six spare, 26 in the ball for two here. The South Barn. I'm going to throw the big one here. Off to the left on a break, and it's the one, three, and the seven. 33 through two. Stephen Ashey at a strike nine and nine, only four. Give advice how to play the wood. Defending champs on a roll here today. Six and two in their first match. Four and all so far here in the second. They've got the match. They're not tough. Five for spare. Looks good. He got it. Three spares to run to stop the third. 43 in the ball through three. Ash missed everything. Ouch. Ashy, nice out, nine. 37 through three in swing number three. Evan River is on a roll. Spare six, spare seven. 
Spare four. Forty seven three. Not a bad average. Nineteen a box so far. Ashy only three. Five a nice ball. Hey, come on, buddy, get that shit. The right side of the Ashy, nice second ball. Almost. The team, the team, team name on there too. Yeah. Five or ten, fifty-seven through four. Ashy a nine, forty-six through four. Just a reminder again: continuing live coverage all week long on Canton Bowling Network through the semifinals. It's only nine o'clock every day this week and Saturday. The best bowls in the world are on tap. Come on down, especially the playoffs on Friday night. It'll be jammed here, wall to wall. It'll sound like an NFL stadium. Both flying the right. Thank you. One three six fair chance. Drops up one. DJ Trash for Spear won't go. DJ Five, I should say. DJ Trask up next. Ten to pull five. Twenty seven to three. DJ Five at ten. Twenty-eight through three after that spare nine. Twenty seven through two. Thirty seven through three now. One fifty eight, one fifty two, a slim six pin lead early on for the Barbarians. Oh, Fry drills the pocket into the two two split. The two four left is six ten on the right. DJ Fry, ugly leave. Four left, six ten right. DJ had a bang of rule lanes. Bang or main. Five is the opportunity. It wasn't easy anyway. Very kid, let me get that shot. See us right, threw it away. Bowl of nine. 36 to four. Open, fourth, open third string so far. DJ Five, second time in the gutter, seven blocks. 44 to four. Third bowl is Nate Lees working on a stair on the right. DJ Trask is working on a stair after a strike. They hang out to a slim four pin lead. Ball variants. Nate leads on the spare six, the one three six, and the nine behind the three. Thirty six through two. Just a three fill for DJ. Thirty three through two. Please, not spare. Don't go. Three six left up. Get small shirts if you want. Raise money for Candlefins for Cancer. $25 high quality pre shrunk. Okay. Small to triple X, so it's good quality. Yeah. One if you want to look at it. $10 goes to the charity. Yep. So we asked for a wild shirt. Eight leaves at nine. 35 through three. DJ Trask, a seven, 40 through three. 175. The ball, uh, ball variance down one now. So 176, 175. May leaves, goes the pocket. Eight, 610. Eight, eight. Eight, made the Pro Series playoffs multiple times. It's clear. Nice ball, eight. The DJ Trask. He won the very first out on the beer tournament with Lori Lewis. Open box here. He's up to six. DJ could use this mark for the Barbarians. Won't go either. Chop the object pin. 
lead to nine. Leads at 24 to four. Nine also, DJ, 49 through four. 185, 184. The price is wood up by one in the string. But not just all the airs. They're going to get at least six points. Mike McGinty, a spare 9 10, 29 through 2 on the right. John Drake's on a spare, 20 in the ball from 2 on the left. McGinty crossing over, it's 8, has the 3 and the 10. Drake goes right, gets 6 out of that. Not bad. 1, 2, 6, 10. 30, make that 26 through 2 here in the third. Ginty for spare on the nose. Good offer. Drake been hit on the head pin. Ginty a nine. Mike's at 38 through three. Don Drake in the heat. 34 through three. Bulgarians now in the lead by four. 198, 194. No marks of Price's Wood. And no marks from the Bulgarians either. All balls open. Kinty gets five. Don Drake. Tough lead. 6 10 right, 7 left. Holocaust that wood over. Kinty can try. He's at the 1-5 center whisker. Great. Good try. A little more right. Into a 9. 47 through 4. Break an 8. 42 through 4. 206, 203. The Bulgarians are up three. No marks on the board for the team. Don't see that too often in the World Tournament. Tim Matera on the right. Shane with him on the left. Fair, but it's a really tight one right here. No marks on the board. A three pin lead for the Bulgarians, right? Yep. Evan Riva with the three spares, uh, two for the whole rest of his team. Bryce Wood, it's like uh, three strikes and three spares for Bulgarians. Material thin hit there. Piece of wood though here. Three in the middle. Want a post? Pulling anchor here in the third. Shane with them. Welcome to the world, Shane. You're only going anchor. One, three, four, seven left. It's zero. Beautifully placed ball. A spare. No surprise there. Team has many miles still on its in his treads. Not his treads in his mind. Whatever you like to say. You know what I mean. He has a lot left in the tank. Twenty on the ball from three. With them, a 10, 35 through 3. Nineteen ninety-five, ninety-six season, Tim won a mixed teams champion with Karen Matero, Betty Snowman, and Matt Rich, all same year, team championship with Al Joy, Russ Neely Sr., Matt Rich, and Mark's Hollywood Smith. Also won a main state, was a main state elimination runner up the same year. On the head pin, 8. Two and the four. 37 through three in string number three. Shane had the chance here. The one. Oh, the two go. Now it's just a seven eight. Four pieces of wood. Terrell spare. Going back to back. 47 ball through four. With him a spare. His second spare of the string. 45 in the ball through four. Back to the top of the order. 
Paul Grant, Bob Lee, you live. Bob Lee doing the controls here in the score camp on Camel from Bowling Network. Don't forget another match after this stream. We'll, we'll sign up after this match. And they'll have one more bowling match here today. And back tomorrow, 9 a.m., the first of three. Stephen Ashe, 46 through 4, has the 1 5 and the 6 to the right. Never mind, a strong start. Three spares and a 10, 57 through 4. One, two, and a 6 10 on the right. Ashe for spare, missed it. I'll go with you. Five pin leap of Price's Wood. Oh, what a try by Riva. One spear for each side for Yanker Bowls. That's it for Marks. Ashley missed again for seven. 53 half. Five or a nine. 66 half. 240 to 233. Price's Wood inching the way up by seven. Time for the sweep. Ashy crossing over five, make it six. Three, six, ten right, two pieces of wood, seven left. Evan crossing over eight, nine. Just the three pin remains. For his fourth spare of strength. Ashy. Oh, what a try! It goes for spare! Wow! 63 in the ball through six. Strike nine in the first. Five in the match. Got it! Gentleman shot. 76 in the ball through six. TJ Fire on the right, Cole Fire on the left. DJ, a 115 bowler. Oh, 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 break the 1, 2, and the 10. All five, only four. Point to left. Bull fry on the groove. Boy, you got those ones, bud. Come on. Wrap it up. Eight box DJ. Fry. 52 half here in the third. Final string of this match. Bull fry. Just a six that time. 42 half. How often you see that from Paul Fry? Hardly ever. Funny game. And a 140, the first string to lead his team. 106 in the second. DJ Fry, 1, 2, 8, 9. And a strike, 9 in the second. Paul Fry off to the right. Seven, the one, two, and the eight. Right, Need some wood to help. Check yourself in here. Fly right, off to the left. It's the one, two, and the nine. Fly right, spare. On the board in the six box of the third string. 52 in a ball. Two marks to one advantage for Price's Wood. Actually, it's 2-2 two, two now on each side. All spares. 8 for DJ. 62-6. Even up here in the third. Two sixty six two fifty nine. Price's Wood. The defending champs up by seven. Three spares. The two advantage also. Third ball is both open. They lease 44 through 4. DJ Trash 49 through 4. Here's strike, spare 3 to start. Nice ball there for strike 9. Just the two pin is up. 
Spare six in the second, only three. Come on, Nate, go to work, bud. Come on, Nate, go to work, bud. For a spare, missed it. That'll kill you as a bowler. Who wants that shot back? Any of these could try. And that is the Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for 10. 59 half. Lee's 10. 54 half. Nate Lee's from Kingston, New Hampshire. Commissioner Revere, Mass. Both are extra lanes. Extra New Hampshire. And Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. <laughs> Seven pin lead for Price's Wood here in the third. Fast. Six, ten right, seven left from Wood to help Navy. Leaves three. The 192 string earlier today. The match we were covering. Sam Dugay from Canada. Triple strike to end that string. Nine for DJ Trask. 59 half. Need leads. Good try. Another ball to go actually for DJ. Ten bucks. 69 through 6. These are 9. 63 through 6. 285, 279. Price is what if I 6 in the string? Three spares to 2 in their favor also. John Drake, 42 through 4. That's a 121 to 143. First two strings. And has the post. Mike McGinty, 47 through 4. Hit a 134 and a 121. Crossing over, has a triangle. Not anymore! Strike! Oh, Look right. at the triangle! 57 plus 2 through 5. That was McGinty magic! Take with the ricochet shot. Good effort. Nine. Fifty-one half. Got to get the ball variance credit. They've been hanging around the last two strings with the defending hey, champs. Point it's all one, Michael. It's go. Oh. Come on, buddy. You go the wrong way here. Ray crossing over. Eight for five and ten more with discount. You can't believe he's saying, wow. McGinty, a strike! Oh, Bang! Double oh, strike! Wow! That's right, it's McGinty Magic here in oh, Haverhill. Oh, there it is! Break of 10, 61 through 6. Trying to go for the 8 sweep, they're starting to pull away. Veteran leadership paying off here in Haverhill at Academy Lanes. World Tournament. Best week of the year in Kenneth Bowling. The Super Bowl, the World Series, all combined in one. Tim Matera on the left is working his spare. 47 in the ball. Two marks in a row. On his spare on the right is Shane Witham. 45 in the ball. The second spare of the string. And pin for a strike, it's nine. 54 through four. Matero off to the right, six, the one, two, six, ten, fifty three through four. Okay, clean shot the five pin. Missed it. Matter himself. Still good try. Shane, all grand special. Missed the second, make the third for ten. Sixty four half. Matero, 12 bowling at 10, 63 half. 
He's thinking about hanging it up soon. I think it's way too early. Ninety six, ninety seven season mixed doubles champ with Julie Flood. Ninety seven, ninety eight team championship with Chris Petrin, Kevin Sparks, Richard Arry, and Al Joy. Drills nine. Ninety eight, ninety nine singles champion. Ninety eight, ninety nine main state elimination runner up. The list goes on and on and on. Not enough time to list them all. Shane went from the one seven. Needs a mark to stop the bleeding. Mr. Wright. Terrell, ball start on the offense. Five yards. We beat first down. Two pin for a spare. All over it. Pumps his fist. He lives for the world. 73 to ball through six here in the third. With him a nine. 73 through six. Paul Grant Bobby with you live on Count and Ball Network, the World Tournament. Officially known as the International Count and Championships. After this match, the spring, this match is over. The spring is over. We'll have another match separately. A few minutes after we sign off. Third match of the day. And we see a Brian, Brian Cole and Fenway Academy up next against High Grade Millbrook. All right, back to our live action. Six fill. Evan River, good try. 82 through six. Stephen Ashley, three in the fill. 66 through six is open. Ashy, a seven. Seventy three through seven for the sixteen year older. A lot of upside for him. Driver in the pocket. Oh, he got the break. 6-10 left up. Ashy has to force him right to 1 3 6 10. Price is good. Tight battle. All spring now leads by 20. And a championship pedigree on file here in the third. Two marks to none. Also. Driver. No. Oh, it does go on the rebound. 1 1 of the ball through 8. Ashley nine. Eighty two through nine, so they're in danger of losing all eight for the second match in a row. We're going to talk to Tim Matero, Bob, before we sign off. Back here. Ball fly, 2-2 two, two split. 3-6 right, 4-7 left. DJ 5, 2-4-7, spared leads. Fry, nice try. Great offer. DJ can't connect. Five nine. Sixty-seven through seven. Nine. DJ Fry. Sixty-nine through seven. Price is we're looking for the repeat this year. Last year, last year was technically not the World Championship, it's the U.S. Invitational. Canada not being here. They won last year. 
convincing finals win on the Temple Network. Tim Material led up the, down to the 153 as we go forward. Time. Fry, tough split here. DJ Fry the Caleri. DJ has the two and the five in the middle, seven, ten corner post. Right. Nice bit. Oh, wow. What a shot. Kept it perfectly. 77 of all through eight. DJ chops out the three. And they're starting to pull away now. The lead is way up now. They lost their first spring, their first match, and they won the last two in the total. And they're a good chance to win all eight here. Eight for DJ Fry. Seventy-seven to eight. DJ Trask now on the left. The Barbarians. Nate Lee's on the right. Price is what? He has the one seven nine. No marks for the Barbarians on the board. Two spares and a strike. Maybe four spares and a strike. He's got three spares in a strike. The price is good. Leaves. Oh, what a try. He won the recent Candle Fence for Chancellor Ladder Series, winning $2,000. Watch all those on Candle Fence Ball Network. And we have the ladies roll up coming too. Scarborough Main, Big 20. As lead gets 10. November 29th, 11 a.m. Tuesday, the Big 20 Scarborough Main. Thursday, December 1st, 11 a.m. Saturday and Sunday, December 3rd and 4th, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Ladies, your chance to shine. Register Candlefins number 4, cancer.com. Candlefins 4, cancer.com. The live show, the top five, the Big 20 Scarborough Main, Saturday, January 14th, 2023. Ladies, for Rock, Candlefins for Nate yeah, Lee's good ball, eight. Ten in the last box, 73 through seven. DJ Trask at nine, 78 through seven. He's got a three two split. DJ High single, 196, high triple, 458, high five, 654, 118 league bowler. Out of 117 Augusta, Maine. Leeds, Mr. Wright. Trying to go two and a three, got the two. Leeds, again, what comes back and takes one for nine. 82 through eight. DJ, nice out for 10. After that 3 2 split, 88 through eight. Mike McGinty on a double strike. Also, a force of Bull and Armour, force from New Hampshire. High single, 206. High triple, 468. High five, 752. High 10, 1366. On the 2019 Pro Series doubles title with Josh Haley. 0.7 for 7 to knock out round. Double strike! Almost! 29 that first double strike box. Ron Drake, all but the head pin. Denied the Julian. Get the spare on double strike. 76 half, 96 through 6, 106 in the ball through 7. Great to spare. Second spare of the string, 71 in the ball through 7. Mike Carter, the winning team last year's US Invitational. Price is wood. On the spare after double strike. Lost him over. Seven. Triangle. Six, nine, ten. One, thirteen through seven. Drake with the Caleri. The 40 year old for spare. No. McKinty for another spare. Got it! On the money! McKinty magic! In my mistake, that's a 10. That was a spare. Missed the ball. 
Got the view here. Make it a 10. Still a good shot. 123 through 8. 9 for Don Drake, 85 through 8. Mike at 47 through 4. He is a 123 through 8. 76 in the last four boxes. Astonishing. Here's Tim Matero on a stair. 73 in the ball. 6. 79 through 6. 31 year old chain with him. 9. First time going to the world. Put the anchor position here. And the, and pretty good job. The chair off the wall only got the head bent. Shane, spare. Third spare of the string. 83 in the ball. The chair of the rear of seven. 86 through seven. Final box of the match. Don't forget, after this, we'll try to talk to Tim and Tara real quick before we sign off. And then we'll sign up and come back in a few minutes for our third and final match of the day. And don't forget tomorrow and all week, starting 9 a.m. every day on Canlip and Bowling Network. The World Tournament continues with the exciting finals on Alley Chat Saturday afternoon around 3 p.m. or so. Tara will spread eagle plus the 9. Shane with them on the stair 7, the 1, 8, and 10. 97. We get two more boxes to go after this box reach bowler. Tim, nice try. I'm going to give the uh, final two boxes to Bob Lee to call. It's Bob Lee. All right. We're coming down to the wire here. The match is starting to get away. Once again, from the Barbarians, who had a lead in the first. The score is 469 to 422. Tim Matero subbing in in the uh, anchor seat. After Josh Daly is taken out for Nate Lees. Nate Lees moved into the three slot. Matero now at 96 through 8. Witham, maybe the first we've seen of Witham, and uh, probably not the last. He's at 99 through 8. He's been throwing a hardball, 42 miles an hour. And speaking of which, here's Stephen uh, Ashy, also in the sub role for the Barbarians. and bowl out of all play. Evan Riva, right in the head pin. He moves in, the righty faces left. Then flips over. Drops it to nine. Down to the three pin. Now it's gone. And a spare. So have nine on that fill. Puts him at 110. Through eight complete. And then let's go up to 120 in a ball. Through nine. Ashy. At nine. He'll be at 91. Two oh three is the total lead right now for the Prices Wood Flooring, last year's number one uh, at the US invitation. They were the winners. And how about that? River with a strike on the spare. That's three in a row. Spare, spare, strike. He had three in a row at the beginning. He had one in the middle. Let's, let's call it seven marks for Evan River. He'll get an 11th rack in just a moment. Will we tally up his score? 140 plus those two balls. Thank you. 
Rabbit hit. River is set. First ball. Left side. Wipes out everything but the 1 3 6. Needs this for a 150. No, 149 for River. Another great game. Came in second at the Easter Classic. Second in the Pro Series doubles. Oh, I, I don't have my whole sheet in front of me, but Rick is a player to be named often. Beautiful ball, Cole Fry against his father, DJ. Sets things up so nicely. You got to wonder what could go wrong with that uh, four and eight big piece of wood leaning out in front. High low jacket. How about that, DJ? DJ Fry with the spare in the eighth. 87 on the ball. Not cut up on uh, Stephen Ash. He finished that with a 100. Fry now with the fills is at 95 and a ball. That fill was four, so we'll call it 99 through nine complete. Five in the fill for his father. He's at 92. And I think uh, Cole, who won, won big in the first game and by one pin in the second game over his father, he won 141-01 in game one, 106-105 in game two. He's going to just gonna eke out game three. 109 to 101, the Battle of the Fries. 109 for Cole, fireballing youngster at him, out of Maine. And his father finished with a 101 with that nine at the end. Here's DJ Trask now. Sits at 88 through eight. Nate Lee's at 82. Oh, there's a lemon drop. Hey, Paul. <laughs> Paul's uh, uh, scouting the next the next teams that are coming. Nate Lee's punches out the, uh, I don't know, the Mo Vaughn, the 4 and 2. Jackie Robinson, if you prefer. Trask still looking at the four horsemen plus the post and the clear. Lees, one, six, and ten. Oh, all we need. I think we're okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, but uh, that will be a five for, for Trask. It's at 93 through nine. Nate Lee's for his part with his eight is at 90, needing 10 for 100. Another lemon drop. Double. Oh my. You have to miss by uh, 12 inches to get a 4-pin or a 6-pin. Never a good sign. Here it goes. 7, that gets him to 100 with his last ball coming up. Lee's needs all three of these with the next two balls for his 100. Of course, he'd love a spare. Now he's going to have to fight for it. Every bowler wants 100 on the scorecard. <laughs> Usually more at the pro level and the semi pro level. That'll be a 9 and a 102. Let's see what we got here. Nate, Nate came through with a 99. 
sorry. Wrong scorecard there. He's done. He only bowled for a string and a half. Uh, Trask with a 101. 10. Lead, lead now is up to 90 pins in the game. 235 in the series. Tom Drake drops a 9. Mike McGinty gunning for the ages here. 133 and a ball with that spare. Any kind of a pill should help. There it is, a strike. And McGinty's at 400. And in this game, he's at 143 through nine complete and 153 and two balls to start the 10th. I don't know if my graphs will ever catch up to him, but uh, how about that? Another nine, almost a double in the tenth. He's now at one six, should be at yeah, 143, 153, 162, and, a, and 10. I think that's a 163. That is a 163 officially. Oh, I didn't catch up on my uh, strike graphics on the board, but you get the picture. And with the 163, McGinty, a 418. McGinty Magic series. strikes again. Yeah. And on the spare, Drake ended up with a 107. Filling that spare with the three as he did. Drake on the day. Fine job. 371. Here's with him. Tim Matero. Matero with a spare in the ninth. And a 10 for with him. With him at 109. Matero at 106. And a ball. Of course, it's an inverted. Matero setting up. On the right side, good. Good action. No, everything but the head pin falls. Nine in that fill, 115. And a spare. Actually, yeah. So Matero now at 125. With him, who's at 109 through 9. Finished with a 116. 8 on the fill. Should be a 133 for uh, Tim Matero. Great job in the anchor. Great job in the three spot. His score. Hmm. So, so Matero had 130, 138, 133. And with that 133, he's. He's at a 404, I believe. Yeah, 404 for Matero across two two score positions. Um, with him, finished with a one with a 116. Paul, if you want to talk to people, you talk to them right now. Uh, don't do it in front of the alley, though, please. Right here. Yep. Here, take the take the microphone. I'm gonna work on getting this work. I can I can turn this camera. I'll, I'll turn it right here. Oh, just, uh, I guess we're doing an official yep. interview.
Kobe, you want on? You want in on this? Can you tilt it up a little bit. Tilt it up. <laughs> tilt it up. Other way. Other way. That's one more. Two one. Up higher. Two one more. Right there. Okay. Welcome to Ripping the Back Podcast, episode oh. number. Of <laughs> 3,555. Who can find us on Spotify, iTunes, all your I haven't. Tim, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. The future Hall of Famer on full display today. You know what it's like in these big game situations. Another 400 to your resume. Have you caught Craig Holbrook yet? No, no, I have not caught that. I don't think anyone will catch that. You always seem to step up. I know you're thinking about retirement. Retirement is not an option. No, it's totally an option. <laughs> we'll see. It's not quite ready yet, but we're getting closer every day. How do you, you always, I mean, I come in for the first time last year and you threw a 153 in the championship match, the first run string. I didn't even know who you were back then, but I've seen you and your video, you know, it's a great bowler. You always come clutch. How do you do that all the time? Um, honestly, it's, it's, it was taught to me. Uh, having Charlie Mylan and Russ Neely as, as mentors, and kind of teaching me how to handle these types of situations and, and how to block out the noise. Um, you know, it's just something that uh, over time has been a key. To I, me. Knew, I knew you have nagging injuries. How do you block that out, especially in big time tournaments like this? Uh, a lot of ibuprofen and a lot of Tylenol. <laughs> Honestly, that's really it. Great podcast on mental health. Tell the viewers about the mental health crisis line. Talk about your show. Oh, uh, so in Ripping the Rack podcast, we had uh, the last couple of shows, we've really focused on mental health, um, you know, suicide prevention, that type of stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of it. It's 988, I think, is yes. the, uh, yes, in the U.S. Uh, yeah, in the U.S. hotline. Uh, you know, it, it help is there for people that need it. It's, it's, a, it's a hidden disease that, and a lot of times, people hide it well. I mean, I've been battling depression for almost 40 years. And it's, it's, I hide it, I laugh a lot, and people just don't equate depression or mental health with me. And it, it is something that I've battled. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a hot topic. We will continue that discussion on the podcast. We will continue moving you know, forward and, and just trying to help people. Okay, congratulations, Tim. A great you. career. You cannot retire. <laughs> We'll see. Tim, I think you just shot at 405, man. Nice. Right. I'll take it. Tim Matera, Ripping Thank the Rack Podcast, and Prices with Flooring. Paul Grant, Bob Lee saying so long. And I will see you back in a little while. Our third and final match of the day. Don't forget tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock on, all week long.